Jake Sullivan is of course traveling to Israel. What message do you think the Americans are giving to the Israelis in the aftermath of the horrific death toll of the Palestinians that we witnessed? You can't kill your way to peace in this situation. You can't just say we're going to kill all the Hamas fighters and then we're going to have peace because you see there's been such a massive destruction of the of the ability of the Palestinians to even live after this is over on top of the scores of thousands that have been killed and tens of thousands more that have been wounded all that does is breed more contempt for Israel and more hatred and when you see both in the uh, Palestine in the Gaza Strip and in the West Bank actually a higher percentage of people in the West Bank in that same poll said that they believed that Hamas was right on October 7th because of all the heart carnage that they have seen so Israel is going backwards in terms of creating a possibility of, of peace for its people by this indiscriminate killing of people in pursuit of Hamas. But I'll tell you one other thing, even tactically speaking, there's almost no way that Israel can accomplish its goals of destroying Hamas and killing everybody because how do they even know who Hamas is? I mean, unless you have a roster, they don't wear uniforms. And how do you distinguish a Hamas terrorist from just an angry Palestinian man who's upset that his family got killed or something? And you see that you're just going to create more and more. I've seen it with my own eyes in combat. And if they don't change something, they're not going to attain their political outcome and they're going to create more strife for the future. You know, it's interesting that you mentioned this because this is, this is an interesting sentiment that was also echoed by General David Petraeus. He said that it is important to win the battle of hearts and minds. And if Israel is serious, we're actually rooting out Hamas, then Israel's job is to make the lives of the Palestinians better than what they had when Hamas was, of course, ruling them in the Gaza Strip. Do you think the Americans would be pushing the Israelis to, in fact, you know, change their tactics? Because to root out Hamas, you need to convince the Palestinian people about it. And before this conflict began, before the 7th of October, Hamas's popularity within the Gazan people, the Palestinians in Gaza, was said to be very low. But since this conflict right. has gone up, the popularity of Hamas has shot up dramatically. What do you make of these tactics? Yeah, the, the, the whole issue of winning hearts and minds, you might have had a shot at that before October 7th. There is no chance for that now. That's not even on the table. What you have to now do is just even create the possibility of a future and a hope for the Palestinian people. You're not gonna win any hearts and minds now, not for the foreseeable future, because of the extraordinary level of anger that has been created by this you know, massive loss of life and, and physical destruction. So that's actually off the table. But if Israel doesn't even provide a possibility for future, then the, then the anger is gonna even escalate above what it's happening because of all the loss of life. So whether uh, you know uh, Sullivan or President Biden or some of these other officials are telling Israel this behind the scenes, I don't know. I certainly hope so because we're not doing them any favors by just saying you should be more careful and then not doing anything when they're not because Netanyahu has been abundantly clear. He doesn't care what they're saying. He doesn't care what Sullivan says. He is, in fact, he said just, I think yesterday or maybe it was earlier today, he is gonna to continue to press forward. He will not do a ceasefire. Basically, he's not gonna do anything that the US is asking. And at some point, we're gonna to come to a point to where we have to say, you're on your own, or we're just gonna say, we're gonna to continue to let you do whatever you want. And then we're not gonna have any difference in the public opinion in the world that we're basically behind them. And that's to start truth, no matter what anyone wants to say.